on the last episode of Trying to Be a Mogul. You looking real sloppy, you can't contest me. Yeah, you looking really sloppy, you can't contest me. That wasn't it. My music career is down the drain, okay? The game? The fucking game? Hey, you give me a give me a coffee. Do I want to get the game coffee? Well, I'm in my brand new penthouse, and I just reached level four corporate, so I got a new mission on the music front. Meet with Nicole Callis to see if she's ready to invest in your label. Hoping we can move away from just communication. You know, I'm still looking for that investor, so what you think? You seem like a nice guy that I can trust with my money and my name. So are you saying we're good? I'm saying we're in business. <laughs> God damn, I got 50,000 MVP points for that. All it took was one post-game conference. Level nine in music now. Bro, we're one level away from maxing that out. I don't even know what that means. Can't start a record label without any records to put out. Talk to Ricky about signing your first artist. Ooh, you did a good job getting our money right in, Pete. Was there ever any doubt, bro? <laughs> no, sir. Hey, but now comes the fun part. Hey, signing your first artist. So you thinking metal? Seems like the move, no? Look, all he need is representation at this point. Kid about to take off, bro. I agree. Okay, so we talked to Ricky. He said we're signing Lil Metal. Lil Metal! I have some fantastic news for you, my brother. Yo, P, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Man, amazing. I can't tell you how good it feels to be signed to your label. You see this, Bob? Oh, we Pops! Hey, hold, on, hold on, You signed? Ricky made it seem like I have to come down here and convince you, bro. <laughs> Look, man, that's being on paper, bro. I ain't have to think about it too hard either. You guys have been my biggest supporters since day one. Man, Ricky played too much. Oh, and it's about to be big things, man, starting with the showcase, all right? Oh my God, they're giving me so many MVP points. What? They just gave me 100,000? Dude, that means I probably leveled up to level 10 music. I did! I'm level 10 in music now. Okay, now that you signed your first artist, you've got to start recording music. Talk to Ricky about purchasing some studio space. <laughs> I'm moving in fast speed, man. Everything is just happening. Look, now that we got the funding and you've signed an artist, we need, we don't need a place for this label to call home and something to call this label. Ooh. All right, but first up, we got a couple buildings. So check them out, see what feels right. Sound good? Okay, so there's two locations I had to go to, but there's no waypoint right now. So basically the fashion missions and the music missions is like one and the same. It's just like in the music ones, you actually get to go to the booth and it's a little bit more fun. In the fashion ones, you just have to spend money on clothes. <laughs> so this is considerably less fun. The world of like being a content creator in NBA 2K is not too different from in real life, guys. The sponsorships are indeed pouring in. But well, what's that? I just, I just got word. So Athletic Greens hit me up, they said, Agent, try our product for two weeks. If you're messing with it, let's work. I said back. Which is why I'm happy to announce that Athletic Greens is a sponsor of this video. Man, I've tried like the immunity boosters, the micronutrient that, the vitamin, this supplement. Oh bro, it's no, no. With Athletic Greens, it's bro, you drink one of these every day and you're good. First of all, they taste good. Let's start there. I hate having a product that I know is good for me, but it tastes horrible. You could think of Athletic Greens like your ultimate daily all-in-one nutritional insurance. It comes with a scooper, you take one scoop, you put it in your bottle, and then you put about 12 ounces of water, you shake it up, and you get to drinking. That's one a day. Let's say you're traveling. They got travel packs for you. When it comes to nutrition, there's like millions of pieces of information, and it's all everywhere, and it's difficult to just feel informed. I really just wanted to simplify the process, and that's what this was for me. It contains no GMOs, no harmful ingredients, no artificial colors or sweeteners, and no matter whether you're eating keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or gluten-free, it could fit right right into your diet. To get the Athletic Greens Immunity Bundle that comes with one year's supply of vitamin D plus five individual travel packs for free, with your first purchase, go to athleticgreens.com slash agent zero zero or click the top link in the description. And again, a huge thank you to Athletic Greens for helping sponsor this video. Hey, while we load up, man, it's a good time to remind you how to drop a like on the video. Waleed said he loves doing these videos, and if you guys leave likes, he'll do more. He said he loves editing 20 hours of footage. It's one of his favorite things to do. So I just want to make sure Waleed gets what he wants in the situation, man. Drop a like. <laughs> you think you're so funny, but I'll cook Waleed right now in this video. Don't play with me. So this is where my fashion label is supposed to be. Stop right there. Boom. My fashion label is supposed to be right here in this building. This is the one I purchased. So this is gonna be the music one now? So how do I, <laughs> scouting the building just means looking at it from the outside. Uh, it would be convenient to have my music and fashion labels in the same location, but just for exploratory purposes, let's check out the second location to see like, you know, you know what's going on on that part of town, man. I haven't been to that part of town too often. Oh man, it's right where Lil Metal stay at, right here. Boom, this is Lil Metal's location where he posts up at. To get the label right beside Lil Metal's location, I know his dick's gonna be hard about it. Damn, this building is significantly worse. 
looks just in terms of like how it looks from the outside but hey this is for a little metal bro we're pushing this building my music studio is gonna be called slave 360 because we will be signing artists to some slave labor 360 deal oh my god 25,000 mvp points yo yo so I just finalized the date for the Moonlight Bowl. We got the bowl? We got the bowl, baby. Ooh, <laughs> that's legit. Yo, wait, how many people is it? A lot. You nervous? Hey, look, what you about to have me doing, bro? I mean, nothing crazy. Everything's already on your to-do list, which I'm sure you've already seen it because you check it religiously, right? Yeah, sorry, yes, of course. Like, I'm course. just saying it's all right there for you. Don't you, do you need me to tell you that you're an amazing manager, Ricky? You want me to tell you everything now? Here's your kudos, Ricky. You're doing a great job, bro. Just do the promo, all right? Damn, so not only are we getting 50, Damn, that was an MVP points. We get so much more music points. Hit up your old buddy Marvin at Eric's Vinyl C if he'll help promote your show. Talk to a 2K Beat streaming rep to get his help promo on your label. And go to 98.9 The Flex to promote your label on the major workout with Audi Major. Yo, the way they swing in these sponsors is incredible. <laughs> Yo, 2K is a behemoth when it comes to these deals. So there's a lot to do and a lot of people to talk to first up. All right, so we made it to the 2K Beats building where we're gonna promo our new label launch. So uh, Ricky tells me we willing to do a little promotion for us. Yeah, man, look, we got the show coming up at the Moonlight Ball. I was hoping you guys could promote for us. For the new label. Super exciting stuff. Absolutely. So I figured we just returned the favor. <laughs> Fantastic. What we'd like you to do is wear one of our shirts, but this time play a few games in your neighborhood. Uh, we like the whole street ball image. It'd be great for our brand. Okay. Boom. So I wear my 2K beat shirt around the city. And I'll just rock this shirt while I go on to my next mission. We get a two for one. All right, we've made it to the Flex radio station. It is no longer a ocean in there. <laughs> it's now people and land. Okay, so this record label situation, I mean, how did that come about? Is this something that you, you know, always wanted to do? Yeah, man, look, I'm really excited about it. It's this Friday night right here in the city, man. And so what can people who are buying tickets expect? Me and some of my closest friends putting on a great show, man. Friday night, be there, and you won't be disappointed. All right, bro. Thank you for the promo, good sir. Appreciate you as always. You know what I'm saying? That's such a crazy way to promo your label at the end of your NBA game on your real job. But we do also have to go to Eric's Vinyls. It was supposed to be our first destination, but and this is a big city, guys. There's like 50 ways to get around. Okay, and we've made it to this dog shit store that fake promo my shit earlier this year. Marvin, my buddy. How you doing, man? You're buttering me up. Hey, look, you smart, Marvin. I always said that about you. What do you want? Okay, look, I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase. You're a busy man with a lot on your plate and I got a show at the Moonlight Bowl coming I up. I know that, I have their calendar memorized. Great! So I was hoping, you know, you can help your old friend MP by putting some flyers, playing some music from, you know, me and my artists, just getting the word out however you can. I'd like you to take a selfie with me and post it on your socials, calling me your friend. That's some weird What? Cheese. Damn, he's weird, bro. He's really weird. Damn, it's crazy how the industry works, bro. They just really use you. Okay, well, I'm not really gonna play this next micro game. I'll just sim it. <laughs> Big brain activity. Do you guys remember that uh, that concert that Lil Metal was performing on Tuesday? Hey, what happened to that? Lil Metal just performed and I never heard nothing about it? Because I was doing all that promo for it. I didn't even show up to the event I was doing promo for. It, it was crazy. Anyway, we made it to the venue. Uh, it looks a little old, but it will suffice. Hey, hey, hey. How about a boo? This is for you, pops. How about a boo? How about a bada 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 boo? Get, get, get up, get up, get, get. Turn it up! Turn it up! You know what it is? Hey, wishy washy players, casual players, haters, acting like they made us. They could never fade us. Wishy washy players, watch your player, haters, acting like what? Acting like. Hey! 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 Where's my verse? I want my verse! Woo! Yeah! See a bad boy, no three at those. Yeah! Holds on the rim, no D's at those. Yeah! My label's about to pop off now. Hey, how was it? Yo! This don't happen to most people. Hey, look, we ain't most people, bro. Yeah, you right. Woo! A little metal, definitely a little mental though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. This is kind of heartwarming. Man, so I got 100,000 MVP points off the strength of that. Just an update, case you lost track. Level eight fashion, level 10 music. I currently have 1.48 million MVP points. I've made 500,000 in the last like two hours. I think that literally might have been like the end of like the music story. I The fact that I haven't invested in, in like a bike or something at this point is just kind of pathetic. All right, John Luck, I'm ready for your interview. I'm cheating on Andrew Torres right now. 
A lot of people can't imagine professional athletes with interests outside of the sport they play, but what's your main interest when you're not focused on Oof. basketball? Oh, video games, streaming, and fashion? God damn it, they're gonna make me choose. Oh my God, oh my God, well, you know, music. music is my other great love besides basketball. So I'm trying to get my hand into that game. And if I can help put artists on, help put some love out for my city, then I'm definitely gonna represent. Okay, so I just knocked out the John Luck interview. So I've been tasked with scouting some locations. Real estate mogul agent is back in the fucking building, fellas. We get a design studio, some runway turns, a whole lot of fashion points, and 25,000 MVP points. So let's go. Okay, so there's two locations. Whoa, this one's right by my crib. What the hell? <laughs> I pulled out my skateboard the whole time. It was right here. Purchase building. Are you, that's, that's, that's. <laughs> Look, 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 look. They put a graphic that didn't even fit the fucking billboard that says office space available. And you click X. Do you want to purchase this building? Yes. What do you, what do you want to name this fashion studio? That's a fire name, bro. Nude fashion? <laughs> Day. Someone said you had a Homer Simpson wardrobe. Okay, this is it. I find something that works, I stick with it, man. Whether on the court or in fashion, I legit have a whole closet full of this outfit. So I guess the Homer Simpson thing, I ain't too far off. Bro, well, I just lost so many points. Did Come I get a corporate like answer? Major, but look, my point is there's nothing wrong with sticking with what works. At least that's how I see it. Oh, I suck. I unfortunately would like to let everybody know that I've sold my soul. Our personality chart here, you can see I was level one previously. I'm now I'm level two corporate, which means my quest of trying to get Helen to sponsor my label is successful, at least so far. So now I got to go meet with her. Alrighty, fellas, we've made it to the CD View restaurants where hopefully is this individual here. And I'm not going to call the name I called her previously. It's going to give me some money. I don't know if you've seen any of my latest press conferences, but I think it's clear that you can trust me. I believe I can too. I suppose the only thing left is to put pen to paper. Hey, thank you. And put ah, dick to you, mouth. Thank you so much. Oh, my bad. You Sorry. She invested 2,500 VC. That's it? She had the money I thought she had previously. Hey, before this game launched, by the way, loading the city up was like, boom, immediately. Wait, hold on. Okay. There you go. It was in the snap. But now that there's so many characters you have to load in the city, because there's thousands of them, it takes like in 10 seconds for you to load in the city. I know, guys. I know. What a big problem. This is one of the biggest problems, and it has to be solved immediately. All right, basically, now I have to go to each of the respective designers that I got done slobbering. Meet Sasha, meet Apollo, meet Carlos. Now, Sasha does the sportswear. Apollo does the little bougie suit. You know what I'm saying? I don't like Apollo at all. And Carlos made me spend 100k BC in the city, so I don't f with him whatsoever, neither. I'm going with Sasha, fellas. Oh, this is amazing, man. Oh. De no, no, what the fuck? Ew. <sighs> Paolo, man, I'm I'm not quite ready to be proposing for celebratory post yet, but just, just give me some time to look this over and I, I'll let you know. I understand. I mean, you're tearing out my heart, shredding it with your teeth, spitting it out and stomping on it, but you good, know. Good, good, that's after I sucked your dick first, so chill out, bro. Carlos, what you got for me, man? Ooh. Now that you've seen the ideas, what do you say we sign some paperwork and establish Whoa, chill some legal out, bro. What the move forward with our partnership? There's no way. Bro, I wore this in 2K20 as a joke. It was a joke to me. This queen outfit was an actual joke to me. I've never been high. <laughs> Oh my God, to him, this is streetwear. Hey, Sasha. <laughs> oh, shit. Sasha, where you at? I Sasha, I'm so excited to see what you got for me. Nice to know you have good taste. Just wow. Then let's sign some papers so I can get back to work. Okay, why do all of them look ugly? This speckle shirt is literally in the store already. You're not changing. Those look like shoes that I own. Sasha, you might be onto something. Ron, these are the ones I got. Hey, I was on StockX, and I'm not gonna lie to you, they make it so easy for you to blow your money, but it's, I got these ones, so. I think it might be a whole new shoe, actually. It might be a whole different Jordan. I just, I'm not gonna, can I be honest with you guys? I really just wanted you guys to know I bought a shoe, so that's why I did all of that. My bad. All right, Sasha, I'm gonna sign my life away. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. I'm excited to move forward with you, Sasha. It's gonna be a good partnership. Yes, sir! Wait, what did I just earn? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Oh, I'm really in the mode right now. I'm really in the mode, man. By the looks of it, whatever this is on the top right fashion label, that should be unlocked. We just got ourselves an investor. I'm feeling myself right now, man. All right, so we're at the shopping depot. <laughs> this guy's just chilling, ain't he? All right, man, Andrew, what's good? So then, you know, what's the future for MP and fashion? Though? And basketball. Look, I'm a ball player first, Tor. Or separate from ball. I want my own fashion line? Facts I do. At some point, I definitely want my own line. 
And I'm definitely happy to use my influence to get their work seen by as many people as possible. Up. But I kind of messed Ultimate, up. Who got a better sister style than MP, bro? So everybody can have you picking out their clothes. Hey, look, what could be better than that? <laughs> Damn, Sasha is not going to like what I just said. So now we're headed to the stores, Swags to be specific, to figure out how to promo something. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe to promo Swags because we didn't release the, the fashion line just yet. Okay, we made it to Swags at our resident shopping center. Oh, who's this guy? the hell i was thinking next time you talk to a reporter maybe slip in a little mention about how much you like your pal more uh, your store swag more i think usually after the games they like to ask questions about the basketball i'm not asking you to lie more if so, the question is right if it comes up look i do it all right thank you thank you you need any clothes today huh? i'm good man I'm socks good. bro you charge me dog give me something for free we gotta talk what are we talking about what do i get from this we need to step up your game day fits. We need you in that Russell Westbrook, LeBron James conversation. Every time they step off the bus, they got a brand new outfit. He wears dresses. Is that fashion? It can be a great chance for you to do what you do best and second best at the same time. Hey, Bo, which one is which? Mm, I don't know. I'll let you know when I see you play. What? You don't know nothing about fashion, Ricky. You're a business guy. Do business things. Also, considering that I'm supposed to be some sort of YouTuber that blew up making like videos embarrassing people at the park, kind of like the professor, how can he sit there and tell me that there's less eyes on me in park games? If I gained 2 million fans before joining the NBA off park games, Ricky, you're not good at business stuff, are you? Oh my God, I got so many missions. All right, look, 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 look. This mission is glitched. I've been showing out day and night, bro. I've gotten a 100-point game. Is that not showing out? So I'm not even worried about this mission. But more importantly, since we're talking about fashion, improve your image as a fashion-forward athlete. Change into a new outfit before each NBA game. Oh, that means I gotta play 10 park games expeditiously. I got 24 hours to do it. If I put on this Jordan compression shirt... Hold on. I don't look drippy right now, TL. What the Okay, this is gonna be my new drip, man. Look at me. Yeah, I guess I just had to load into the next game now. I know it didn't really wrap it up in like a bow with like a beautiful, heartwarming ending or nothing like that. But considering this is, by the way, not a rapping game, it's a basketball game. I'm kind of impressed. I created a playlist though. If y'all want to catch the previous rapping and fashion videos, make sure you go ahead, click that, and you can catch up on the first half of these missions. If you guys enjoyed, man, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys as always. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.